Escape room employees of Reddit. What was the weirdest escape tactic you have seen? I've learned not to make the final stage a lock with a key, because damn if I haven't met some of the best lock picks in the state. My family did an escape room and there was a room with a phone that connected to three other rooms. The doors only opened when you dialed the right numbers on the phone. And so my sister just walked up and pressed ready and the last door opened. We have the record of 7. 5 minutes to complete the room. Someone honestly believed that throwing himself at the door counts as solving the riddle. Since that fateful day I tell every group that it is not necessary to throw yourself at doors. I was told this by an employee, there were paper clips to unlock handcuffs. Someone stuck it into a functioning outlet. There was a escape room themed after a school with a madman's lab in it. There was a part where you had to match numbers with the Morse codes, let a number in the alphabet. There was of course a dictionary of the Morse code, but a group which finished that part in 15s without using the dictionary. Usually, people need at least 3 minutes for it. And then, after that you had to pump a pump to raise a ball with a key out of a 1, 2 meter tube. But instead of simply pumping the thing, a guy took out an extendable stick and silver duct tape, then pulled the ball out of there. They finished the whole room in 30 minutes. My question is why did he have an extendable stick with silver duct tape in his coats in a pocket? Not an employee, but an overly analytical friend of mine, and I were in a group doing an escape room. There was a cup of coffee and a bucket, so my friend poured the coffee into the bucket thinking there might be a clue. Five minutes in, employee comes in and says sorry to interrupt, but has anyone seen my coffee? Also not an employee, but did a room with two friends, where we got randomly placed with a family with three kids under the age of backslash backslash 12. The youngest was backslash backslash maybe 7. We were like, oh man, we're not going to get any help at all. Kids won't be able to solve anything, and their parents will have to keep track of them. But there was this one part, where you had to solve the puzzle, that would allow you to move a bookshelf on treads. There was a small gap through which you could see the key, but it was too small to get more than a few fingers through. Unless you're a small 7 year old boy, he just popped his arm in there, and grabbed the key. We bypassed a good 5 minutes of the room that way. Also, the kids ended up being delightful and pretty good at finding stuff, I'd love to do another room with them. There was a group of people who was doing a space themed escape room. In one of the rooms, there was an astronaut suit which was supposed to just serve as a prop. But one of the members thought that it might be needed to solve one of the rooms. So he ended up traversing through the entire escape room while wearing an astronaut suit. And no it wasn't needed to solve anything. Note, this was posted on another thread similar to this one. I was once in an escape room with a mate a few years older than me. We went to the same school, where tradition stated you must pull the lockers from the wall at least once a day. So, we went in there, saw a locker, and leant it forwards like tradition stated. Behind it was a laminated sheet of paper which said, please put the locker back we lost it, and apparently so did the person watching us though the cameras, because we just didn't hesitate at all. We had a coat hidden on a thermochromatic mug. There was also a tea bag, a kettle and a paper clue saying to make a cup of tea. Had a group get stuck because they thought it was joking and never made the tea. I run one where you work at a time travel agency. The person walked out of the room mid game we don't lock them for fire reasons and exclaimed their victory. A friend of mine runs an escape room and told me this story. A group was in a room that just so happened to have a drop ceiling. You know, the ones with the tiles you can lift up on, and I guess go inside, if you need to. Well that's what this group decided to do. The employee kept hearing weird thumps and bumps, so he went in to check on everything, and found two people up inside the ceiling. There was nothing in the ceiling. I've done that room and there is no indication that you should go into the ceiling. Why would they think that was an okay thing to do? The escape room company has now added don't go in the ceiling to their pre-game rules slash safety spiel. At this point, the rules at the place where I work cover most of the things that would be room ruining, 
Our electrical outlets are real. Don't put things in them there is nothing in the drop ceiling don't punch through the walls or any windows or tear up the carpeting one of the rooms has fake stained glass windows. And when it first opened, before I worked there someone punched through. So now we have a very specific see those, don't punch. The rule for people who go into that room. Apparently, someone pooped on the floor of a room, again, before I worked there, though not specifically to get out. And we keep our doors unlocked, so you can just go use the restroom. Honestly, the weird stuff I see usually has less to do with actually solving the puzzles and more to do with human interaction. My favorite was the guy who I ran through a room super quick, no clues, just him and a woman. The whole time he was saying to the woman, OMG wow that surprised me. Oh, you are so clever for solving that. I never would have thought of that. Buttering her up, etc. They finish, they leave, and my manager tells me she ran the guy through the same room the previous weekend with a different lady. What a dating tactic. Not an employee, but, an escape room we went to warned not to rip up the wallpaper. Apparently one group had utterly destroyed one of their rooms, by searching for clues under the wallpaper. While doing an escape room the bottom drawer was locked, and one of the members of our party of randoms were trying a long time, to try and open it. The top drawer wasn't locked, so I just pulled it all the way out. Then I reached in the drawer to grab the item. Apparently that's not the solution, but the property owners running the game for us got a kick out of it. Not an employee, but I was in a horror escape room in China. There were 9 of us in total, and we reached a point where we were in a small room together. To advance to the next room, one of the girls of whom there were 3 had to bring an apple to the ghost in the previous room, alone. All three girls were scared shootless, and refused to leave. Check with supervisor through the walkie talkie, definitely has to be a girl, to fit with the story. Finally, with no path forward, one of the guys opens the door and yells into the hallway, can I go if I'm gay? Some discussion ensues on the walkie talkie about this point, but they eventually relented. I've done 3 escape rooms and I'm notoriously bad at them. My shining example was, when it was just me, and a friend doing the escape her first time. We stunk, and didn't escape the room. The employee came in, and showed us what clues we had left, in order to open the door. It was like 5 more steps, and I thought well, that sucks. But 5 steps isn't that bad. And then the employee opened the door, to show us the other room we were supposed to have gone into after the 5 steps. This room had even more puzzles to complete which opened into another room. All in all, we completed like 7% of the puzzles. On an escape room that had a 40% success rate, I've come to terms with escape rooms not being my forte. Not an employee, but I was in a escape room with my GF. She found a lock, and just put in some random numbers and it opened. We then had a key, that we could not use. An employee who was watching us on the camera asked how the frick we got that key without having the book with the code. Next level lockpicking gf. Not an employee, but they handcuffed us to an old metal bed frame. I had enough leeway, to unscrew the link that connected them, and then just walked around with handcuffs around my wrists. I then did the same for the others, and we broke out shortly thereafter. When the employee saw us walk out with the handcuffs he just shook his head, and said we were supposed to use a key to get them off. Not an employee, but once me, and my friends were separated in two rooms which both had telephones to communicate to each other. I just decided yelling trough the door to talk, was the way to go. The employee had to tell us, that the phones were not just decor. We had a little puzzle, where you had to find stickers with element from the periodic table on them, and the number they correspond with next to them. So what you are supposed to do, is find about 15 of them all around the room, and fill them in on a little square this freaking kid just knew the entire periodic table from the top of his head, and skipped the entire part. In one of our rooms there is a blind spot in the corner where we really can't see anything, and some guy once pulled off parts of the wall pulled even more on the cables behind that, and somehow we don't know how cut them open, and then he got shocked. It wasn't too bad, we only use low voltage components, but still he was rather quickly out of the room, all things considered. Edit, changed electrocuted to shocked sorry guys, English isn't my first language. 
like most other people in this thread, I'm not an employee, just a player. Did an escape room with an EXS parents. I got along great with the dad, and we are both pretty weird nerds. Came to a part, where there were just ones and zeros on a sheet of paper. He and I spent about 15 minutes translating binary, when you were just supposed to count the ones on each line for a padlock code. I worked at an escape room for about a year, but one group managed to always stay in my mind. I was a group of 4 women, maybe in their 50s, drunk out of their mind. They started off the room quite well with a pace that would allow them to escape, but then they encountered what we considered to be the easiest puzzle in the room. Basically they get a long magnet and use it to pull a key out of a locked window. However they for some god unknown reason could not figure this out. After a bit of trying they asked for a clue. I don't remember exactly what I said, but it was something along the lines of remember that magnet stick you guys got? Some might call it the key to success. Simultaneously they all sigh, which is a common reaction, when people realize that an answer to a puzzle was so simple. But no, they didn't understand the clue. Instead they shoved books into the window in hopes, or getting the key, which is something we specifically tell them not to do. Had to end up pulling them from the room as they started ripping apart the books. Listen into your freaking operator. I often read reddit threads for fun, but never contribute so I've never gotten an account. I just got one, so I could share this story. Working at an escape room I have a lot of stories, but this one will forever be my favorite. It happened a little over a year ago now. A guy was wearing a baseball cap when he went into the room and shortly after took it off and placed it down somewhere. About 7 to 10 minutes later, he picked it up and started searching it for clues or hidden messages. His wife needed to remind him that that was his own hat and it actually took some convincing. He really didn't believe her at first. Not an employee, but I once did an escape room in New York City called The Dig. You eventually enter a second room that has dirt on the floor. There's also a shovel as a prop. The worker there warned us that we shouldn't actually dig, because apparently someone previously entered that too, immediately grabbed the shovel and started digging. On the 8th floor, in an office building, we took my sister and brother-in-law to their first room. It was a rogue artificial intelligence that was trying to kill us and blow up the world in 60 minutes or whatever. It had lots of fun lights and fog. Anyways, the third of three rooms had a Raspberry Pi console set up. We were supposed to figure out a few clues and type in a simple code. Well, Bill's profession involves programming and sure enough he got carried away in the spirit of the moment. He thought the puzzle was vastly more complex, and he reprogrammed the puzzle and prompts. A few minutes later, as soon as she figured it out, the poor employee stopped the game, came running in, and begged him to fix it as she had no clue how to reset the program. I work at an escape room in Sweden and we use live actors in our games. One time when one of my colleges entered in character a group of people decided to grab him and tickle him so that he would let them out because they though that was a great tactic. Worst part is that when they got out the normal way they were very proud of their actions and though they were really funny. My wife and I went to a themed escape game a few weeks ago. While the guy was going over the rules he mentioned, don't pull up the floor, so we had to ask why, is that a rule? That day, like 4 hours earlier, a group was in the same escape room we were going into, and it has a part in a cabin, so it's got the flooring of an old cabin in the woods, so it was old planks. Well this group got stuck, and rather than ask for a clue, they started ripping up the floor, 